Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So Taurus, this reading will be for you if you have any Taurus placements or if you're dealing with a Taurus. All right, guys. So quickly, uh, I'll be announcing the competition winner for a tarot card or orca card later today. Okay, I'm going to post a few videos first. All right, so make sure you watch out for that. You can, okay, so once I've um, named somebody, the competition will reset. So you know from actually from this video you can comment your name and stuff like that so you'll be entered for next week's um winner okay so that will be next wednesday all right guys actually do you know what because the last video because your last video got over a thousand likes i'm gonna pick two winners okay i did say that some time back okay if you can if you guys can get this to 1500 likes which i'm sure you can do easily taurus okay um i'll give two away next week as well all right guys so anyways good luck everybody let's get into your reading two angel number messages to start with tell me about taurus please literally matches what i'm wearing that's crazy that's weird anyways um tell me about taurus please uh, deflecting someone's deflecting okay someone's avoid it, uh, avoiding accountability okay or someone's doing that so okay gaslighting deflecting gaslighting same damn thing um okay be wary of that oh that's crazy these numbers they're special to me because i'm the 11th and my sister's the 16th Anyways, let's see what it says here, guys. Number 11, I am intuitive. So, Taurus, you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. Okay. It does, it does remind me of Pisces, but listen, I am perspective. Number 16, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Um, can I, I want to say something, Taurus. If Now, this, uh, this may be for a small group of Tauruses, but I just want to say it quickly because with that message and what I said before, if there's someone that's trying to avoid accountability, say for example, it was like, it was like, it was them harming somebody or disrespecting someone, something like that, okay? Gather your evidence. Gather your evidence, yeah? That's all I'll say. Anyways, tell me about Taurus, please. What's going on with Taurus? What should I do? Should I do Let me do general. What's going on generally with the Tauruses, please, for whenever they watch this reading? The Queen of Cups. I'll get four. Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles. That's interesting. Some of you guys, there may be something that, something or someone that you love that once brought you stability and no longer do does. Could be a job, okay? It could be a connection. But I do see some of you guys are walking away after a long time, okay? Or you're in that energy where you're like, is it time for me to leave? Some of you guys have been thinking about changing career or moving home, okay? Or something like that. And it's like, is it time for me to leave? T tell me more, please. The Ten of Swords. Why? I think I know why, but why? The Page of Swords. Do you feel... Some of you guys... Well, I don't normally get that, but with the energy that I'm getting, Taurus, there's something like about you feeling trapped or like a betraying someone. I'm also getting you feel like someone's eyes are on you, okay? Like you're being watched in some kind of way. Or 
or what people would say about you. Do you know, I, let me give you an example. Say, for example, if you're if you're religious or if you come from a certain culture or community and you go against, like you found something else that makes you happy and you go with what makes you happy and there's like those, that culture, that community, that religion is like the things they might say about you. Well, I don't know why, okay, let me see. I don't know why that would matter, but two of swords. Page of Cups, the Five of Cups. I want to say, don't get drawn into something that you know is not for you. Don't, don't feel. If you're ready to leave something, to experience something new, Taurus, don't stay because you feel guilt. Like you feel guilty. For some of you guys, it could be a thing like. Maybe your kids are of age where they can take care of themselves. I mean, like adults, right? Your, your children are adults. And you're like, I need to take a little trip or I need to go away for a bit, find myself again or, you know. Or if they say, for example, if I'm getting, there's so many things. It doesn't have to be that, but I'm just getting like, you not wanting to disappoint somebody and it, that's holding you back. But this is something that you need to do for yourself to, to grow. All right. What else can you tell me about Taurus, please? The High Priestess. The Moon. Okay. The Sun. There's a part of you that you haven't that you're yet to explore and you can't do it if you stay put. There's a part of you that's meant to be unlocked and something or someone is preventing you from... So when I say something, it could be your your emotions. It could be your, you know, what's going on around you. Maybe, you know, it's a certain attachments. But it's even showing there. If you walk away, you'll be happy. If you leave, you'll be happy. Hmm. Let me know what that is, Taurus. Let me know. All right. All right. Tell me. Tell me more about Taurus. Away from this. The Nine of Cups. This. This is about freedom. This is about doing you, Taurus. This is me time. Some of you guys could be about starting a business, going back to school. OK, for some of you guys it could be as simple as dating outside your race. OK, something different. The, uh, the hermit. Exactly. This is you discovering yourself. Introspection. This is this is what I'm saying. Who's holding Taurus back from this? Who's holding Taurus back? The six of swords could be an air sign. The lo The lovers. For some of you guys, it could be a connection or a past connection or the hope that something will um, work out. Or somebody will come back. Not for everybody, but that's for some of you guys. But I'm also getting the Six of Swords and the Lovers. Some of you guys could be going towards a love interest at some point or willing to move or willing to move for a Gemini. Okay. All right. All right, that's enough for the general. Let's do a let's do a love reading. Let's do a love reading. All right. Actually, let, let me switch it up. Tell me about Taurus, please. Uh, let's do I'm going to see if I can get through these quickly now. Okay, so it's not overly drawn out. Let me do singles, situationship and couples. Okay, just so everybody gets a message. All right, tell me about Taurus singles, please. Taurus singles. Flabbergasted. Okay, something's going to shock you. Singles. Okay, the Ten of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles, 
the magician the sun and the queen of wands there's for, for some of you guys for some of you singles i do see you connecting with somebody whether it be now or in the near future this person's got a hell of baggage though this person's got a lot of things going on. You know it and they know it. I do see, I do see something going on between you and a person. It could it could be a fight. We've got strong fire, actually, yeah. The Ten of Wands, the Magician, the Sun, the Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a earth sign like yourself. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Oh, okay. It's the attention someone's giving you, or all that you're giving them. Okay, or someone like this person. Okay, it's like they're bigging you up. They're like, they they love how you look. They love what you do. Tell me about this person. How does this person feel about Taurus for singles? Ten of Swords. They feel like they're gonna let you down, guys. I don't like how it's starting with the with the these types. If it was ten of pentacles, ten of um, cups, different story. But they're coming out with the ten of wands and the ten of swords. So I don't know if this is like what's the issue with this person? Nine of swords. They worry or they stress about a lot. Like this person is a worrier. What are they worrying about? The Knight of Swords. They don't feel like they're on your level. They don't feel like the kind of things that you... <sighs> you guys are from two different worlds and that's okay. That's okay. But I feel like not in, a, not in the best way. Not where you're trying to be. How does Taurus feel about this person? The Fool... The temperance. So you're, kind of, you're some of you guys are like were well, willing or or are willing to talk to this person, but why do I feel like this person's got a lot going on? It's a ten of wands for me. It, it, that's the first card that come out. I'm gonna ask how they feel about you. It's ten of swords. They feel like they're gonna let you down. Why do they feel like that? The king of swords. They go cold, they, they shut down, they, they don't, okay. When it comes to like, when it comes to like the emotional side, they may not be as um, like good in that department. I feel like this person gets a bit, like they shut down a bit emotionally after a while. Yeah. All right, let me see. I'm going to do quickly do new person card. I don't know about that. I do see you, I do see Taurus, you guys were like open the fall in the temperance. Some of you guys are like, do "You know what? I I I've dealt with, you know, whatever from the past. I've dealt with my feelings, my emotions from the past. And now I'm open. I do feel like this is this is you being open, which is nice to see Taurus, but I don't know about this person i'm going to be real with you and if you watch if you've been watching me for a while you'll know i get i'll get excited for you when i but eh, i don't know about this one i'll be honest with you um and apart from this person is there anyone else tell me in five cards please four of pentacles seven of pentacles could be an earth sign okay the Queen of Swords, the Justice, we've got like, yeah, Earth and Air and Eight of Cups. Singles, I'm going to be real with you, yeah. I don't know if you're, if you're like, I don't want to say looking, but I'm not sure if the people that you're connecting with right now are the ones for you. Okay, I, I don't feel like, because I do see, I do see like you guys leaving something and being like, yeah, do you know what? Let's, let's try, but I just, yeah. 
someone's not ready. Someone's not ready or not ready for this type, the type of connection that you're wanting, okay? Wow, okay, sorry about that, singles. All right, situationship, boy, let's see what's going on there, because, all right, anyways, all right, where's, let me use, let me use this deck. Tell me about Taurus, um, the ones that are in a situationship, please. I just heard that SWV song, I'm So Into You. Um, be wary of somebody who's already involved or still attached to somebody else emotionally. Just be wary of that. Some of you guys, it could be you. You could be that person. Two of Wands. Situationship, tell me. Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords. The Empress. Um, situationship, people. Um careful if you guys are let's just say fertile okay um no disrespect to nobody let's just be careful of that um some of you guys may have too much fun you may have too much fun um for some of you guys as well i do see you guys kind of doing like not overly i don't feel like you care as much as you used to I just heard that Adele song. We could have had it all. Five of five of cups, ten of pentacles. I could have had it all. Some of you guys, it's 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 the it's the um potential that it could have been. And I feel like some of you guys, you got to that point where you realise, even if you was with that person, I feel like you've been dealing with them on and off for like a couple years, or if it's like, you know. Would you trust them in a relationship? Would you feel like, would you feel content? Would you feel fulfilled with this person? Would you be able to trust them? That's, that's literally the song that I'm getting, Adele. We could have had it all. Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. All right. How does this person in the, in the situation with Taurus feel towards Taurus? King of Pentacles. Three of Wands. The Knight of Wands, they see you more focused on your on your work, your job, your career, Taurus, and they they see like good things are happening in, um, for you, or you're getting to that uh, much better stage. But then mm, I don't like that they see you as a Knight of Wands, the Chariot. Mm -mm. The, uh, mm -mm. That's a play thing. That's a that's a um. What's what's that word? Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. I was I'm gonna have to say it all right you know like you know there are some for example there are some people who will um go for say for example single mums or or I don't know I don't feel like this this person they, they it's almost like they're happy that you're focused on other things so that you're not like you know and then when you're free then yeah so like you'll deal with them. They love they 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 do love the attention. They do love the attention. They do like like a part of them does get excited by like seeing you and stuff like that. Maybe it's a mutual thing for some of you guys. Cause this is looking like they're seeing like you're more focused on like, you know monetary things or or you know say for example career wise m male or female what's what's the most likely outcome for this person in taurus three of swords heartbreak i don't feel like i need to pull any more because that really sums it up heartbreak disappointment um maybe other people involved as well um, obviously if it's not serious, they, they, neither of you, um, owe each other anything. So anyways, all right, let's keep it moving guys. Let's keep it moving. All right. What deck should I use? 
actually no let me use this one all right couples i'm doing good for time all right couples tell me about tourist couples what's currently going on with the tourist couples please five of pentacles Some of you guys may have a lot of things that you're paying off or this person. I'm not sure if this is regards to, yeah, this feels more like money. So, so, so you and your person, you could be focused um, more, more so of getting out of, let's just say, any kind of agreements, contracts, stuff like that, paying off things, finance, mortgage, car, yeah, wh whatever it is, okay? Paying things off to balance things out ace of pentacles so something about improving your credit as well is very important especially if you're trying to get certain things to better your life the chariot some of you guys it could be a car that you're looking at looking for in the future tell me how does this person uh tourist this person feel about them right now the lovers they love you guys they love you could be a gemini for some of you guys we've got cancer and we have a libra that's the strongest signs nine of cups yeah this person loves you guys so i'm definitely getting like a very i'm getting you guys working together okay which is great and they're very content in this like they're happy okay i just want to say that oh couples i'm glad that you guys got a nice reading i'm sorry for the other groups okay um might do another reading for you guys um what day is it wednesday maybe like tomorrow the day after i'll see i'll see um tourist couples your person loves you they're happy they 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 feel content they feel good look at look at my guy's face he's happy he ain't worrying about a damn thing okay love that okay we have the magician some of you guys are dealing with the Aries and the King of Wands. Ooh, some of you guys are making magic together. When I say magic, making things happen. Some of you guys are making things happen together, okay? And you, mot you motivate this person. You push, you, you want this person, want, you make this person want to do better, okay? You bring out that side to them, that's why they're happy. Oh, I love this. Okay, tell me more. The Ten of Wands. Judgment. Queen of Swords. Why? Okay. Some of you guys, there's a lot going on for you. It, it, like, there's great things happening, but I'm also getting, like, different. It could be literally, like, your family. I don't feel like it's you two. Like, say, for example, if you've got, like, you know, parents that are going through things or if you've got children that are going through things or siblings or things like that. Some of you guys, you feel, like, almost bound to something. Like, you have a lot of responsibility, or you're reflecting on how you're sharing your time with, with others. Or if you're paying... Tell me more. I've actually never seen this deck before. Um, it says... Cal... Is T? Cal is T? Golden apple of discord for the fairest. I don't know what that means. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know what... So maybe you guys, if you know what that means, let me know. Page of Pentacles... Oh, who did I say that for? Some of you guys, if you have Scorpio or Gemini in your chart, watch those readings that I posted. Um, it'll be the Gemini that, uh, reading that I posted a um, couple days back, about three, four days back. Watch that one and the Scorpio one. If you have any of those placements or your person does, it'll go into that more. Why does the Page of Pentacles look grown like that? in with a beard that's jokes um some of you guys some of you some of you guys oh okay that will make sense now and then we've got the the seven of wands some of you guys may have children or you could have been that person like from a young age you may have been like young 
like say like you, you could have been 10 going on 40 like quite mature quite um chilled out very, very yeah very um adult adult like that's why I think that come out as well. So you, some of you guys may feel like someone has way too many responsibilities or some of you guys, I'm not you, I feel like it, it's either kids or so, like a family member. Could be a partner. Right, anything else? The Oracle. Yeah, someone's a bit stressed out. Who is this likely to be? The Seven of Pentacles. No, the six of the six of pentacles. So it might be you, or if, if you're dealing with another, if you're dealing with the earth sign, it could be both of you. It's a lot to do with like finances right now. Yeah, waiting to, waiting to pay off things that come out of the start as well, and it's actually ending with that. Like, okay, let me let me pick these deck. Let me pick this deck and see. Three last messages for Taurus, please. To end the reading, what are the messages? What final messages do you have for Taurus? The the collective, any group, okay, not just this one. Think about Taurus, please. That come out the, the other day for you, God box. I don't actually know what that means, so I'm gonna look into that because I don't know what everything means. Okay. Hmm, that hasn't come out before this one. So we have God box. It says here, write any worries, concerns or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Oh, OK, I have done that. I didn't know it was called that. I do, I've been doing that for a couple of years now. Actually, no, I've been doing that since I was about 16. I used to write letters and stuff like that. And I've still got them. I've been doing that for... You know, sometimes... We, this is the thing, guys. Sometimes we do things and we don't even realise what it's called or, like, why we're doing it. We just feel the need to do it. And listen to this. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Sometimes you just know, you feel... You just feel to do something or say something or... Okay? Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine... yeah some of you guys really need to follow what you're i feel like this goes back to the general thing if there's something that you need to leave behind and your body your, everything's telling you to i think that's a sign to do so all right last one taurus is power animal let's see what this says your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation some of you guys may have animals or you may be attracted to certain ones. For example, I like butterflies, okay? Yeah, I like butterflies because it's like, for me, it's like spreading your wings. It's like um, becoming a be more beautiful version of yourself, transformation, all those things. It's, like, it's kind of it's kinda like the death card, but like prettier. <laughs> um, you know, transforma uh, transforming, let go of an old version, things that no longer serve you, stuff like that, okay? So what I would say, you may know by whatever animal you're drawn to. I would say that, okay? Anyways, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Remember to comment where you're watching from. Good luck with the competition. I'll be picking two people today. Okay, so look out for that video later on. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, all the information is in the description. So read that first, but contact me. E uh, send me an email, okay? And guys, I am tired. I've been up since, like, last night anyways i'm gonna leave, i'm gonna leave you and love you and i'll see you guys in your next reading bye guys